Hello again, and thank you for meeting me for our home tour today. We are going to be looking at the beautiful history homemaker home. It's called Ironwood. Um, it's a little, it's, it's around 2,800 square feet. It's a four bedroom, three bath home, and I think you're just going to love it. So let's check it out. So as you walk in here, you'll see the entry. Now over here to this side is actually where your garage wall would be. So this will be a wall just over here for your two car garage area. And here would be your first few bedroom here. In this space. Also you have a closet area. They're using it as an office as you can see but you can at least see kind of the closet space here. Okay. And here is one of the full bathrooms with a tub and shower combo. Okay. And as we come on and enter in here, and as you can see, the wood tile flooring throughout the whole home, which is really nice. Now this, you can actually make this space into your formal um, dining area uh, or another formal sitting area as they've turned it into with a lot of natural light, which is really nice. Now, this door would actually lead to your garage door, so that's what's behind here. Here you actually have storage that's up under the stairs. And then it would go into your good size utility room here for your washing and dryer. Alright, and I don't know if you guys can see or notice, but all of these hallway arches are going throughout here, which are really nice as well throughout the home. Now that same floor is, is flowing all the way throughout, even into the kitchen area. Here is your pantry here. And then you do have your granite countertops here on your island and on the other counters. You have your 42 inch cabinets, which is really nice, so more storage for you. And then all of the appliances are stainless steel, and in this community, it is gas. And you have your kitchen nook area. You have your kitchen nook area over here. This one, as you can see, sits about six people, but you do have space to make it even a little bit bigger and still be comfortable over in this area too. And it's also here with the window seat as well. All right. And then everything about this floor plan is a very open floor plan in here. So even while you're in the kitchen, you can still be involved with what's going on in the living room area as well. And another great thing about this setup in here is all the windows for all of the natural lighting that's coming through. So now let's take a look at the backyard. All right, so let's head on out here. And here you do have your covered patio area here, which is big enough to um, do what you will with it. Two chairs and maybe a table, or even your grill can fit on here. And also you have all of this good size um, backyard, which you can easily put anything you want back here to make it your outside oasis. So let's go ahead and head back in. All right, and now let's 
from past the living room area into the master. Now this master I love because of the high ceilings and the big window here so you can see how much natural light is actually coming into this room and it's still big enough to where they have uh, the sitting area over here on the side so it's very spacious and I would say this bed looks like it could be a queen so if that kind of gives you an idea of how big this um, room is and another reason why um, this home also feels so open and so big is because how tall the doors are as well if you can see the doorways and everything. So it just makes it feel more open. So you do have your standing shower as we go into the ensuite and your tub here. There are two separate vanities. Now with this bathroom though, it's very nice. So you actually have two closets in here. Here is the first closet. And then you have your powder room here. And then it goes into the second closet right here behind me. So here you have your second living area where you can turn it into a setting room like they did, a second living room or even a game room. Now one thing is that up here it's all closed in so you don't really have an overlook to the floor below. So if you do want a little bit more privacy up here, you have it. closet here or extra storage here. You do have another thermostat upstairs too. Here is another bedroom which would actually be the third bedroom and then you have a walk-in closet over here. And then this would just go out to your attic area. Okay. And here is the bathroom here. So you do have, sorry, you do have the tub and shower combo and, and this area here. And then you even have more extra storage here. This hallway area enters into the bathroom, and then so does this area from this bedroom. So they actually share this bathroom. And you have your two sinks here because of that. Now this is a great size fourth bedroom that you do have upstairs.
And in here you do have your walk-in closet. So to give you kind of an image of where we're at, this actual bedroom is right over where you enter into the house at by the front door. So this window actually overlooks your patio area on the front. And then you have another closet here for hanging anything or just extra storage. And then that includes our tour of the History Homemaker House today. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Uh, look at the description below. Um, we would love to help with any questions or anything you may have. Uh, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we are happy to help. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.